Hi, my name is Jeremiah Moyes. We're about to cover how to set up audio video equipment. So as we've seen in other videos, all kinds of things require AV, which is audio video equipment. We're talking monitors, we're talking televisions, we're talking projection screens. All kinds of stuff will come into the future that's going to also require that same level of audio video adaptability. In this, we're going to look at a couple of the different wires that are required and what the different wires do. In the past, there might have only been roughly three wires that you used on most equipment. Um, more complex systems would use more complex wiring to capture more of the different video channels that were being projected. However, now we have high definition coming out of a single wire that is called HDMI. This also brings along the sound. Now there's converters from almost all of this. They don't always work, but we kind of hope they do. So you want to take and double check your equipment before using it in a presentation. So this is an adapter from DVI to HDMI and having these different adapters you got to remember that you also have to follow up with sound so just because you're using the end cable that can carry the sound if you're not inputting sound into it it doesn't necessarily have it some of the later cables um, for the digital version had video or audio attached to it but for the most part you never see those those are very rare and now we're seeing the both female and male versions. Uh, the little minus and plus sign that shows up off to the right hand side of the screen here. That sometimes is different styles or if into multi-channel. So this is the VGI. This is one of the oldest of the systems. However, it's the most common that you're going to find on equipment because it seems like they went from this setup right to the HDMI. There's not very many systems that use the other piece of it. Once again, this does not carry any audio whatsoever. So you need to make sure that you're using a system that has an external audio system built into it. So this is kind of where everything's headed right now, which is the minis. And this is the mini HDMI. The data cables also, the 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 DVI um, does have some mini conversions, but for the most part, it's usually only that one system. This does carry sound. So this kiosk system is the most common thing you're going to run into when doing a presentation. And when you're setting up a presentation scenario, you really want it to be very easy for your user to walk up, put in their information, and then present to either a boardroom or a classroom. So if you're setting up a system that has controls, you're going to want to have not only video, audio, but you're going to have a USB as well. So if you look right here, you can see I'm putting up a audio video cable as well as the speaker and then the ability to interact with this device. Now, when you're doing this for the whole video conferencing thing, you absolutely need all of these because otherwise they either can't hear you or you can't hear them. And if you want to have interactive software or things going on in between these two, you have to have devices to be able to make all of this work. So far, we've covered HDMI, DVI, and VGI. Now we're going to look at the USB and how it all goes together as one solid package. So as you can see here, I have a audio in, audio out, which would be your microphone and your speaker. So this is an adapter. Just remember blue and white. It goes from the white one to the blue one. We are not covering coax cabling in this chapter. However, coax cabling is used for anything over long distance. It is lower quality. However, the value it has over the longer distance is higher quality than the other wires. So you can see right here, this is one of the type of converters that exist where you can input your older VGA system and then output the audio with everything coming into the HDMI. 
So this is looking at the back of a projector. And as you can see, you have a whole array of things that you can go into. And the reason why is they want to make this so this projector works with a lot of different systems. So this is a little bit better view of the system overall. You can see where the uh, fire wire goes in. That's for your Apple. Um, some PCs have that as well, obviously. Um, just look over that real quick. What do you see? You see audio in and out. You see video. You see HDMI 1, you see HDMI 2. Now we're hitting a computer, and this is where you're going to get all your outs that are going to go in your ins. And that's really what the whole AV thing's about. When you look at AV, you look at what goes out, what goes in, and how are these things interacting, and what all does it need? Well, I really hope you have a better understanding of AV equipment and how it works, how to set it up, how to use it. Basically, a user end type version of way of doing this and how you can set up your presentations when you get anywhere and go anywhere. Thank you and have a wonderful day.